Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. <coughs> I'm joking. Pretty good. I'm <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We need to distance ourselves from you, Mark. You're going to have to leave the call. Yeah, you might the worst part is, this is probably the first call where I'm not going to be coughing. I've been coughing for the last, like, eight <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> Well, so yeah great um, not dying not dying that's good we should all practice not dying it's like a hobby of mine really like uh not dying and breathing i've gotten really good at them too mm. yeah yeah well neil if i mean we need to practice social distancing so what i say is you move him down to that spot that's blank spot right next to the um to the, dice. Uh, the die rolls and then move that blank spot over there so we keep him on a separate row I see. So we should just rotate everyone, bring Sergej up and, and bring Mark no, down. You'd have to do me in the text, like up and down that way. Because otherwise there's somebody above me, right? Oh, I see. I see. Just completely flip the you guys. Let's sway. Yeah. Mm. Seems complicated, mm. though. Yeah. <laughs> I know I would be too lazy. I think I've got a slight solution for it here. I can just... Turns my video off. Kicks me <laughs> I was just gonna put him here so it's only James that he can infect. It'll lower right, at least right, my chance fine. of getting sick. So sorry, James. I guess you're just collateral damage today. Uh, oh, I'm just getting killed again. What how what how original. One of these days you're gonna have to stop blaming me for your character deaths. It's it's gone beyond the point of Neil's trying to kill me. I think it's, it's been verified it's you. I don't die in my other games. <laughs> Do other people die in your other games? Yes. Do you kill them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's the DM in his other games. That's why he never uh, dies. Uh, <laughs> but they try. <laughs> How you doing, Sergi? Hey, you keep mispronouncing my name, but it's cool. I know. I'm fine with it. One day I'm going <laughs> to learn it. I'm so sorry. That R is really hard, and, you know, I get I've it. I've been trying to teach him. It's the J at the end that I don't know what to do, because I can do the Serge if you want. But... No, the, the R is incorrect. <laughs> like... Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> shit. Hold on. Yes. Give me, it, give it's me a hard R. Yeah. Sir, sir. Give, how do you make <laughs> the R sound? <laughs> Educate me. All right, listen. Sergey. There you go. Sergey. So, okay. yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That's fine. Close enough. I love how you look like, yeah, I did it. I did it. Yeah, I did it. I got it. I got it. Marta, Sergej, it's fine. I got it. You know, the jams over there and Rube. I can, I can pronounce all your names. I have a really weird name. Like, it's not from, uh, I mean, Fuck. I mean, it's super common to me. <laughs> no, it's not actually common here. That's what I want. Okay, to say. it's common where I'm from. Oh. oh. It ain't here, so. All right. Well, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't wow. know. I guess my parents wanted me to be a bit more unique. Mm. Or at least my name, not me. All right. right, um, right. I, I don't think anyone can be more unique. Because if you're unique. <laughs> <laughs> then you're just as unique as every other unique person. All right, no, no, because look, all of our characters are you here saying are unique. that none of us yours are, unique? are more unique, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is right. everybody all stockpiled up? Yeah, yeah, I got about a month of food on hand, ready to go. Yeah, same here. excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been. I've got I've got stockpiled, but you know we still have, have food on the shelves here. But it's the looters that have been kind of worrying me. Wait, really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They, they, they aren't armed yet, but they keep coming up to the door trying to trick their way. They're like, "Will you sign for this package?" Or I know, right? would you like to hear the good news about our Lord Jesus Christ, or or would you like to buy some thin? <laughs> or like, oh, put that down. It's your brother. Don't you recognize him? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those just, looters are just so My backyard tricky. is just so dug up right now. It's... The worst part good is work. I have but no idea how much of that is memes be. or not because I'm in Canada and we're all just like, yes, here, have all of the things I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, you don't have to worry about that because just being Canadian, like being in that country is social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
I'm one third of the people in my province, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, like even even those like planes that were supposed to go to Europe that like they, they blocked them. So they're like, yeah, let's just land in Montreal, and we're like, yeah, we'll take these probable sick people. Like, what's wrong with us? How are these? It's not good. We're not going to survive. <laughs> But, but there is some good news that I mean I've I've been pretty grateful for this. You heard about the see we we had um, a dog walker for our dogs and we found out that the dog walker had been exposed. So we're like, oh, oh, kill her. Oh, like the dogs lick, you know, people's faces. Like the dog walker's like the dogs would be infected. So we put the dogs in the garage. But then you saw the other day that the World Health Organization announced that dogs cannot get coronavirus. Mm. So the World Health Organization engineered the release from quarantine of our canine friends. That's, that's so awkward to say. It seems like there should be a shorter way to say that. <laughs> like Are you way. saying, oh no. <laughs> Something catchier maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe you could say who let the dogs out, you know? <laughs> who? Yeah, the, the World Health Organization, the WHO. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I don't even know why we're going to play shenanigans. We've already peaked. This is it. This is the most I'm going to laugh for the rest of the week. That's like the shenanigans mission. We got to figure out who let the dogs out. <laughs> who? It was oh, okay. over there. She's great. No. She's on <laughs> first. On She's on first. <laughs> right, who's on first? Then who's on first? second? No, 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 no. What's on second? <laughs> who's on first? No, no. I want to know who's on first. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. All right, I'll see yeah, you in who's half on hour. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's on second? Who's on first? What? Well, <laughs> Welcome to Shenanigans, everybody. Um, we have socially isolated Mark as much as we can in the top corner of a <laughs> Shenanigans overlay. We're going to try and keep him there. Um, why don't we introduce our characters, starting with Mark. Who are you and who are you playing today? I am playing Mertu, or also known as Marteau, <laughs> who is a lovely minotaur with dual-wielding sledgehammers, because... Neil let it happen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he is a lover of the arts. And um, he has made many beautiful things throughout his campaign and shenanigans here. Um, he, he would have loved for Chiss to love him, but you know, he's a minotaur. I don't, no one knows how Chiss looks at minotaurs. So instead, he's like, oh, this Ephra chick sounds great. And now he's been under tutelage of a lovely clerk of Ephra. Yeah. And who is that lovely cleric of Ephra? Uh, Norris, the uh, cleric of Ephra, uh, our critic extraordinaire. He may say his art is beautiful, but it has these flaws in it, and they're not inspired enough. He said, oh, I stuffed this dead animal to be provocative. And I'm like, you're not giving a message behind the provocateur. You're just doing it to, for shock value. What is the art behind it? Oh, uh, cleric of that Ephra. Is for shock value. Uh, cleric of Ephra Human Mao. Uh, he's just a snob. <laughs> just a snob. Love it. Love it. <clears throat> Next up is Rob. Who are you and who are you playing today? I'm Rob. I'm, I've heard a lot about this game and I want to try it out. And it seemed like a good place for it. And uh, my character today is Dirk, uh, Dirk Tide, Storm Pilot. I. A name like that, typical newbie mistake, but you'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And last he's, but not least, he uh, oh. was an elven pirate. He was going to be a goblin, but the stupid system, like, basically mm -hmm. is like, you know who we hate almost as much as goblins? Let's just, like, give them some more for uh, their stats, and uh, uh, we'll just like have maxes on their stats so that even with the minuses we still wouldn't want them to have decent stats <laughs> and to make it up for it we'll give them in yeah all right next up is i'm gonna get it right this time i swear sergi 
It's worse. Oh, it's not so much worse. Sergi? Sergi. No, it's Sergi. fine. It's fine. God All damn right. it. Let me introduce myself, okay? <laughs> I am Sergey. And Sergei. uh yeah. So I'll be playing uh Cavalcanti, who is a uh, step warrior uh cobbler. And uh well, we'll see where that's that gets him. So excellent. I don't know. I'm a bit nervous, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> It'll work, maybe not. Um, so let's pick up our game. You guys are in shenanigans proper today, hanging out with the people there. Let's get some music up and running. If I can see a button for the music. Um, what are you guys up to? What's going on? Well, I'm I'm not in shenanigans at the moment. I'm walking in. I see. Well, everybody uh, else I'm, is in shenanigans. I what are you the people Desmond. there? Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. you, you see, I can make you another bird feeder if you truly, truly wish, Desmond. Look, I know look, how look, much look, you no. loved it. Buddy. It's I fine. appreciate it's over. You, the reward. It was a great reward, and I would just like to make it up for you by making you another beautiful, inspired feeder. Uh, it, it, this piece of art better be better than the last one. I mean, the yes. last one is. Yeah. But, I can use a pig. Oh, how's that make it better? Because bigger is better. For no, birds. that just changes the scale. That doesn't change the meaning behind the art. <laughs> How can I make more meaning for a bird feeder than a corpse of a bird to hold the feed for the birds? That's just being reductionist. Mm. Beautiful. Listen, kid, uh, I don't want to insult your artwork or nothing, but I don't have any need for any more bird feeders. My, my mother-in-law has a birthday, but once a year, so, uh, keep it in your pants till next year. You would like me to keep the bird feeder in my pants. I do not believe mm. I wish to have birds in my pants, Desmond. But that would best be unique. You are not the best at advice, but I appreciate you. That would be a unique art installation. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured it. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> hmm. Is there any art that you would wish to acquire, Desmond, best friend? Art that I wish to acquire? Yes. Mm. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yeah. I am listening, best friend Desmond. He looks around. All right. This one's a secret. There is <clears throat> this art installation. Real hush hush shit. Way out in the desert, all right? Fancy place. But rumor has it a group of malicious angry gnomes who are uh, frustrated with the world because people care more about art than science are going to attempt to blow it up. <sighs> oh. Now, there are two such places where the art could be. Well, I should let me rephrase. There are two art installations very close to each other. I'm talking like, you know, within a few hundred feet apart. Uh. Rumor has it the gnomes only have enough. Uh, I don't. I don't even know what how you explode things without fireball spells. But they found a non-magical way to blow shit up. Okay. A non-magical only... way to blow things up. I know. It's crazy talk. I can't. It's yeah. probably a bunch of lies. It's probably not even gonna work. It's probably gonna blow them up instead of blowing up the art. But just to be on the safe side, I need someone to go protect the art. Okay. I whispered to Norris, but the explosion sounds inspired. What, what, what do we value more, the inspired explosion or the art? Once we see the art, we can judge it, of course. Mm. We but can't judge we the art the in abstract. Ooh, yes, what sort of explosions? Well, 
the thing is it's contextual so we do have to see them to appreciate them so we should go there anyway we we should acquire the explosions and save the art mm. yes and then we can replicate this non-magical explosion and sell it through the world well, I don't think that's going to work because um, it's shenanigans, but you can try. <laughs> mm, beautiful. Like, there was a whole Die Hard episode here, and that technology never got out of that episode. Apparently it did. <laughs> the gnomes. The gnomes. Oh, so you said the desert. Which desert? <laughs> the well, there's only means. one desert. <laughs> Look, okay. the... I so can give you directions. Uh, not really. I mean, only if you're in a Cuban would you say you're going to a Cuba. Are you in a Cuban dog? No. Well, then the Red Desert belongs to no man. <laughs> well, it used to be a Cuba 1500 years ago before formed, right? I need to be Cuba 1500 years ago God damn clerics. <laughs> That's an empty wasteland belonging to no one. I wonder you know, what happened hellhole. to the royalty over there. Well, they visited over here, didn't they? Well, what not happened to them over, over here? here didn't they? <laughs> hey, one of them even visited shenanigans, you know? Maybe we should go find them. <laughs> no, it's not like another party's trying to find them. Or well, we can do it first. <laughs> The but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get some desert supplies. What, You're also going to need at least two other people to help you on this mission. It's an important right. one, all right, Are guys? You sure. Hey, uh, if you don't protect that art, no one will. These, got, these gnomes are destroying ancient ruins in the desert where untold masses of appreciation. Can you imagine what it would be like if some sort of terroristic group of short people went around blowing up things in the desert? Things of mm. ancient value and exquisite beauty? Huh? What would you call a person like that? Some sort of like is-is or like something? W. They're Bush. terrible. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's ridiculous. So wait, wait, you're talking about the ruins in the desert. So the Cuban ruins. Yeah. They're fucking ruins. Why? Why are you? Why are you so obsessed with the Cuba? Huh? Are you in a Cuban? Show me your papers, no. huh? Let me see some identification. What the heck? Papers. Why do people hate a Cuban so much here? Oh, you see, a Cuba invaded you can't be trusted. Country centuries ago. Centuries ago, Cuba. They can't be trusted. And they attacked Berg. <laughs> they tried to attack Berg, and then they headed east, but they couldn't get into the forest. Then they were pushed back out of the, out of the country. You know but, a lot about history. Well, why not? Why don't you know about history? I am from a small island where we don't talk about all of the history of the world in very specific details. I'm not very, very specific. I mean, very vague here. They got into the country, they got pushed out. I mean, and I said centuries ago, like, I didn't give you years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right. It is not specific <laughs> at all. It, it makes total sense that you know all of these details. Moving on. <laughs> I think someone from Drakus would know that a Cuba invaded and pushed out. I mean, that much is clear. But, okay, we'll have to find two more people to help us. Where shall we find them? Maybe we well, should get some gnomes. Well, I guess as you say, but where shall we find them? Yeah. yeah striding into um, shenanigans is a, a tall elf with a long... Studded leather sea coat and a, uh, he's got a tricorn hat, just barely contains this wild, blow dried, if, if it could possibly be styled 80s hair rock hair that goes down halfway to his shoulders, black and curly. Hunched over a pie. He goes, ha ha ha, my fruity booty. <laughs> Our mind. And the dagger goes like flying past him from outside, hits shenanigans, he gets blown up like, ha ha, you should be aware of the metagame rules before you attack me here. <laughs> and he, he strides in and sits down beside you with the, the pie. He is beautiful. 
Yes. He's got a loose uh, strewn over his back as well. <laughs> Have inspiration. Your presence alone has inspired Ephra herself. I wish to carry you on my back. Grand. You, you want some of me pie then? No, thank you. I'm not what so easy. pie is it? On this March 14th, you'll have to go steal your own pie. <laughs> and why is that? Why is that? Why don't I, why don't I just give out this booty? I steal this. Mm. I am a thieving sailor. I am a pie rat. <gasps> so you rate pies? <laughs> I once, uh, when I was a young sailor, I, my first ship, I was with Dread Flame Lord. We called him Bernie, and he explained <laughs> that there was the one percent that had rigged society to, so that they got all the benefits, but that we too deserved a piece <laughs> of the pie. Hmm. Hmm. And how will it you was, accomplish this? It was a this? truly great experience. He made sure we were all paid a minimum wage. Hmm. A killing wage, if you say. Oh, <laughs> was he the one who wished for clerics for all? I, I, ACA, affordable clerics for all. Mm -hmm. Cleric care for everyone. <laughs> was it not called Martha care? No, no, see there. To the evangelicals, they're, uh, they they claim to be for everybody, but they're just trying to line their own pockets. They always say these words, but never describe how it would work. <laughs> well, to be honest, Bernie wasn't so good at that, but his first mate, Elizabeth, she had it all. Mm. She was a mate with a plan. Mm. What happened to her? Uh, well... The deck wasn't so strong up there by the wheel, and it just one day she just dropped out. There wasn't enough support <laughs> under the deck. Mm. Sad. So you blame the working men who built the boat? No, no, I, I blame the people who scrimped on the costs. Mm. I see, I see. That's beautiful. <laughs> Would you like to accompany us to a desert? <laughs> I will either go to the Red Desert or the White Desert to f stop an art destruction. Which which desert is this now? Well, there's two deserts to the north, the White Desert and the Red Desert, and Desmond wouldn't tell me which one it was, because he said it's all one desert for some reason. We will have to split up and go to both. <laughs> I have heard tale of these deserts. They're quite hot and dry. There's very little water. Yeah, that's why it's surprise. I I heard of this from from another another pirate captain. He was yeah. a big man with meaty fists. It would crush a skull in your hand. We called him Crunch, Captain Crunch. <clears throat> he crush your skull, and he told me stories of the pies of those desert regions because. It was so hot and so dry. The berries they would use to make the pies there would be desiccated. And they themselves, much like a fist or a, a skull in the hand of Captain Crunch, they themselves would also be crunchy. I would love to have a pie made from these crunch berries. Mm -hmm. So that you're saying you're long. coming. <laughs> it was a very long walk for not much at all. Much like this. <laughs> I need a fourth person then. Uh, is there a reward for this quest? You're saving art. Is there a reward for this quest? We work for the people. Is there a reward for this quest? <laughs> I'll give you 10 gold. I'll give you 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in pies. If I'm going to make pies, I'm going to need more dough. 
Would you like some cheese for your pie? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of berry pies that I'm looking for. Mm, unfortunate. Uh, you know, we're, it's, it helps ward off scurvy. Mm. That's why lemon meringue is the most desired for a pirate. Mm. So you're still going to need a fourth person. Would you? Does anyone have a meringue on hand? Even with my dog, oh. one sec. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if I go to Paul's pie post and buy your pie, you'll come. If what now? There's a pie shop in town. If I buy your pie, will you come on the adventure? Yes, you. You would have to be the one that did that. I. Um, yeah, yeah. Your pie rat. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy. If I buy it, then you take it from me. Is that fair? Compipants. That just uh, that just seems so wrong to buy a pie. What if we just kill a merchant and take the ingredients for you? Don't kill a merchant in town, please. <laughs> we will be on a large quest. I'm sure we can find a merchant that will not come back at us. Okay. I don't know that we need to kill the merchant so much as board her shop and steal her pies. Hmm. Beautiful. Well, there is no sheriff at the moment in the town. Are you sure? How can you be <laughs> sure of that statement? Did you there, wish to give something in town? Does no, busy you with wish to else. steal from the town? Well, I mean, that is sort of the pirate way. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing well, like pissing off people in shenanigans. Overhearing um, you guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Approaching you is a uh, Kavakanti, a uh, tall guy, tall half elf, coming and. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, uh, I heard you guys are going over to the desert. Do you need some uh, sandals? I'm making some fine desert shoes. Oh, that'd be useful, yeah. I would love some sandals. How yeah, beautiful perfect. are they? They're. Uh, Made out of straw, so uh, Wait. not that beautiful, but uh, sturdy and uh, well for travel. Straw sandals. Are these sandals yes. boots? No, they're sandals. Are they hats? I don't want them. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, flipper sandals. So, uh, did you engineer these yourself? Uh, yes, I made them myself. Are so. you a gnome? No, I'm a half elf. Mm. Those look to me like, like, that. like you were making a shoe and you ran out of materials. Yes, that's right. Uh, maybe. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Finish oh, your maybe make shoes. The rest of the shoes. <laughs> Finish my shoes. All right. What do you suggest we do? Me, like if you were being chased and you were wearing those. It would be like really awkward, and one would fall off, and you'd be like, "Oh, do I do I keep running with one sandal on and one barefoot, or this this just feels strange? Do I go back when I'm being chased?" I think you can see what I'm saying, man. Right. So, uh, you've mentioned the merchants stripping the rigging. Well. The auspice of all this is to uh, go to an art installation in one of the deserts and uh, protect it from gnomish uh, no-gooders. But uh, weren't you talking about That's some merchants? And, and pirating merchants? Oh yes, we wish to kill some merchants along the way too. It will be beautiful. No, no stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you kill a merchant, you can't visit him later and get more merchandise. Of course not, he's dead. Then keep him alive to get new merchandise. Hmm. Is this some sort of game? This is a riddle. I will figure it out. It will be beautiful. Uh, look, uh, are you interested in going to the desert with us? Uh, I'm, I'm interested in going to the desert with you guys. And I'm also interested in uh, getting some straw. That's right. 
Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Like, sure. You probably don't want to wear those sandals in the desert, man. The sand will just get right in there. It's going to feel gritty. And then especially when the sand gets between your big toe and the next toe, and you've got that little thong thing there, it's going to keep rubbing, and it's going to get really raw. Mm. Mm. Then what do you think we should do? Do you think I should? Do you think we should get some kind of... Uh... Design a rock doll. It's like a sandal, but better. Uh, yeah, it seems like you've been named your crew after something that gets into it. Not so, inspired. If sandals aren't meant for walking in sand, then why are they called sandals? Someone answer me this <laughs> question. <laughs> it seems like he named his shoe after what gets into it. Mm. It's just marketing. Sandals are meant to walk in sand. Because it's supposed mm. to get the sand in there and then get out. It's so that Wearing it has a way to sand exit. Yeah, but it's got flip-flops, not sandals. Eh, Wait, what's the difference? Yeah. There's no well, difference between flip-flops and sandals. Buckle. The back buckle. What? Yeah, there is what a difference. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Flip-flops and sandals back. are the same thing. No, sandals uh, are the back buckle. So, yeah, so a sandal will actually fit on your foot completely, and it has a back to it to hold the back in place, whereas a flip-flop mm. only goes on your toes and, like, can flip-flop yeah. on your heel. I don't know what sort of colloquialism I, this is. I've only ever heard sandals and flip-flops used interchangeably. Do you no? own any pair of either? Yes. Does it have the back part that goes on your heel? No, don't be ridiculous. Well, so you've never well, just... owned sandals? No, that's that's don't, then, don't, then don't, don't. Are your way you of ever saying, bought I'm super lazy. I don't mm. want to put on my shoes. That would be too much work. Sandals are your way of saying, you know what? I could wear socks with these and tell everyone I've given up on life. <laughs> I don't know if you did that on purpose because sandals with socks is a Quebec thing. Like where I'm from. Oh what? man. It's literally like one of the like big memes about Quebec is that people do that. It makes me pained on the inside. But I mean, Case you really in need to see feet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, unless you're a foot fetishist, do you really need to see people's feet when they're wearing sandals? I'm not touching that. <laughs> just avoid the question altogether move on <laughs> well I so, refuse okay, to let you guys talk. upend my life and my philosophy on how things are I reject your notions of the difference between flip flops and sandals they are interchangeable words no, they're not. that's how I'm going to live my life they're not at all not remotely okay <laughs> it's fine okay, so we, got four, we can agree yeah, to we disagree need to get, we need to get... why don't we purchase all our traveling equipment and then we'll raid the pie shop and head out of town right. before the long distance uh, sheriff can come. Okay. Wait. Can we Should take? We yeah, sorry. Um, take a boat to Pike's Point and head north. Wait, Desmond, where about in the desert is? We it's a definitely place. take a boat. I've <laughs> lost my old ship. I need a new one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You want to know yeah, where it is? I'll tell you where it is. That's out in the dust. By fortune. What? Look, look, look. Where's my map? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see uh, this place over here? This area? Uh, yeah. That is the, Arcadia. Uh, the Red Coast? Right, right. You want to go, like, right there? What, the crusty Lake? No, no, that's way the fuck over here, right? Right here. Right here, right in the middle of the desert. Arcadia, well, south, yes. South of this Krusty spot, Lake. This spot, it's nowhere near the Krusty Lake. The lake's way the fuck over here, down over here, next to the, what, is, what river is that? The Riverlands. <laughs> a couple <laughs> miles from the Yaga River. I know exactly where we are going. Oh, we so can past follow the, me, uh, it'll be beautiful. Okay, past the Yaga River in the vampire halfling area, got it. He pointed at Arcadia. I saw it actually. I had the map um, page open. It was very so confusing. He was pointing at all the land parts. Why would anyone ever go there? <laughs> there are rivers. Well, I I, there's a lot of villages along there. the. As well as people who live in the riverlands called halflings. I've heard of these villages. They're like beached boats. What is a ling? A halfling is like. No, no, a half... full ling. Well, you see, it's a four-legged Zerg-type creature that uh, masses in swarms and attacks people. It's very vicious. Ah, okay. Hmm. Right. Bite your rings right off your fingers, they will. 
All right. Well, so may I suggest to... may I suggest a change of plans and uh, not raid the pie shop in the town we have to return to later? I was just going to oh. buy pie and gonna pretend to raid it. Oh, well, that flew over my head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, basically, I'm going to buy some pie and stuff. Pie has to have that he just his... rated flavor. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Hmm. But, all right. I still so think we... we should kill a merchant in the Riverland for good measure. Well, there's some, there's some vampire merchants there, so we can do that. Mm, inspired idea. Everyone gets what they want, except the vampire. Well, the problem is the vampires are a bit after our, our weight class. Are you calling me fat? I'm saying they're fatter than us, and we can't punch up. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you could, <laughs> lose <a little> weight. <laughs> you could lose a little weight, but that's the year or that. I love cheese. I know you love the cheese, but you keep speaking. You speak. I just love cheese. <laughs> See, I, I just I feel like you, you're. You're misinformed there, Mr. Ephra. Hmm? But I feel like you're misinformed there about punching up. In the old crew, there was a goblin, tough mm -hmm. as nails. And we thought, how would he be able to fare? How would he fare in a fight? But being short as he was, he would dive in and he'd punch up. And let me tell ah. you, many a ball was bruised that day. But so, what if he fought a woman? Highly effective. Would it be as beautiful? In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, perhaps we should all get cups before we go take on these gnomes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cavalcanti, can you turn your straw sandals into cups to protect our valuables and make it beautiful? I, oh. as, a, as a pirate, I don't want anyone to get their hands on my family jewels. Mm. <laughs> all right all right there's i'm uh, looking at the map here um we can either go to the, uh, uh, take a boat to the red coast to one of the kuma villages or we head across land across the riverlands we shall do that the on land one okay uh i meant the good one what i can't help but feel it this is so far away that your host desmond here how would he have ever heard of it? And this might just be his scheme to get you out of the country. Desmond no, would never he do would that. Never he do is that. my best friend, Desmond. And I'm sure he's got a, uh, one of those iPhones. Look you know, at this balls. magical plus three chainmail I wear. He has given it to me because he's my best friend, Desmond. I and trust I him. I, I feel like <laughs> magical chainmail is what a genie gives you when he wants to fuck with you when you're saying like, I wish for plus three armor. He's like, here's plus three chain mail. Desmond is my genie. I feel like he probably had no use for the plus three chain mail. And so he's like, uh, sure, have this. I... The famous cosmetic orbs he gave me are useless? That you smash them and you have the cosmetics appear in your face? I am surprised he did not give that gift to his mother as a present. That would have been a great <laughs> present. Yeah. Non adventurer. Could. Yeah, like. But he gave it to you. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I haven't found a spy for him yet, but. Yeah. So, okay, we're going cross land. Across the Verdant Plains. Let's go kill that merchant. Beautiful. No! <laughs> We're stopping bad gnomes destroying our... Lead on, Norris friend. All right, let's go to the pie shop first. Uh, uh, I'm going to go outside the pie shop and reconnoiter. Okay. Yeah, I'll go inside the pie shop. I, I, uh, can I have some berry pies? <laughs> Uh, you go over to Paula's Pie Post and ask for berry pies. Yeah. Let's see what sort Is of there mood. like a hanging sign or like something outside the door that I could tie a rope to? There's a hanging yeah. chat outside the door. It's got like, uh, there's like a box with a sign that's like attached to only by one corner and it's just sort of hanging there with a the picture of a pie sort of cockeyed. 
All right, I'll tie a rope to the hanging chad. Excellent. This is fucking all my body. <clears throat> Uh, let's see what Paula's move is. That she is ooh, rolls a two. I think that's very oh. good. I think no, that I'm is just super to pause. <laughs> Oh, she is so friendly. Welcome, Norris. Oh my God, it's so good to see you again. Thank you for coming back to Paula's Pie Post. I'm Paula, as you know, of course. What sort of pie yeah. can I get you? By the way, Something have I told you you're much. looking particularly handsome today? Uh, thank you, inspired. Uh, just mm -hmm. have some berry pies, please. Wonderful. Uh, Would you like one pie, two pie? You know, right now we're doing a three for three. the price of four. Oh, I'll do three for the price of four. Go for it, yeah. Excellent, great. She sells you three pies and charges you for four. Uh, please yeah. shell out okay. 20 copper. All right, 20 copper, done. So, okay, will you, would you open the door for me? All right, I open the door. <laughs> All right, I walk right. out I the stall. With... Grab onto the rope, and I swing through the door. Ha-ha! <laughs> wave my, my uh, sword around. Uh, you oh, gave no. that nowhere. It's the very right. Here. Rob, I nice. need you to make me a saving throw for the hanging Chad, because it's only attached by the one Chad. Um, ah, I feel that it's it's powerful enough to disrupt an entire country. <laughs> it has a saving throw of thirteen. So a thirteen or higher on a D twenty, please, Rob. Yeah, we're using roll twenty. Uh, you can use roll 20 or you can use physical dice, whatever you want. Either way, a two is not good. Florida breaks off and falls into the ocean <laughs> and takes you with and it. suddenly the property values in the rest of the country roll. <laughs> oh no, it's the pirate! And he's so, uh, arrogant, he lets himself fall to the ground. Facing us. Oh. I, Paula, I, I wish to buy I some meat pie. Look, she's a narwhal! And then Oh. Leap up to my feet and grab uh, a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have a pie, and she looks at you kind of confused and looks to Norris and is like, Is he with you? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. is. You are car. my scurvy. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I go over. I, uh, anything else to tie the rope to? I gotta swing out of here. Oh yeah, whatever you want, man. There's, I, I it's a pipe the rope, post, you know. <laughs> I, 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 I hold the rope. I hold the rope real high. Yeah, they'll swing out. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, uh, hits for the sign. I'm very sorry. Okay, come again. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll see you soon. That's what she said. I wish to buy a traditional meat pie me. of three different <sighs> animals. Which three? Hmm, which three do you have in a traditional Minotaurian meat pie? Well, we don't have any traditional Minotaur meat pies, but we hmm. do have a Minotaur meat pie, if that's what you want. Loop <laughs> <laughs> heck! I'll, I'll take one, please. <laughs> she, uh... Like taps the counter and tell you that you need to pay up, and goes into a back room. And you hear and hear some things opening, and she comes out with like a little flat plate with a cloth over it, and sets it on the counter and goes, "That'll be five Norris, silver." Norris, do we murder her? Excuse me, sure. five, five gold, five silver. Okay, mm. all right. I paid the five silver. Silver. All right. You now have I'm a the... minotaur meat pie. Hmm. And there is no traditional tortière. I am disappointed. Yeah, have one of my berry no, pies. We are out of tortière. <gasps> she must eat the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I disappointedly walk out. Yeah, but okay. We'll, we'll deal with her later. We've got to save art. The art has you, to take preference. Hmm. Well, when we come back to town, art we'll deal first, with that. Murder later. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. All right. I think okay, with that, let's head out north to Kershwick. Okay. The party oh, gathers yeah, Kershwick... their supplies and we'll head out and we'll take our first break. And when we come back from break, mm -hmm. the party will be en route to the dusty place where the gnomes are going to blow up the two art installations next to one another. See you guys on the set of a break. Bye bye.